All right, welcome back to my channel, everybody. So uh, one of my older videos uh, when I discussed uh, white privilege and the uh, black repulsion in Asia. So uh, many people want me to come back and discuss this topic. What I'm about to tell you is the 100% truth, okay? The Chinese people, they worship being white, okay? That is just uh, the reality. So I'll give you an example of the, some of the most uh, popular plastic surgeries uh, performed on Chinese women. So everything is basically modeled after uh, this actress. So her name is uh, Fan Bingbing. So she rose to fame uh, when she played uh, the character uh, Jin Suo on the popular Chinese series uh, Huan Zhu Ge Ge. The literal translation is called uh, Return of the Pearl Princess. So basically she's been the sex symbol of the, the China's uh, film industry for the, probably the past uh, 25 to 30 years now. So if you notice, if you look at the picture of her, so uh, if you want to be a model or actress in China, First of all, you have to be completely pale white. And if you're somebody that has a darker skin tone, for example, somebody like me, you can still make it onto TV, but uh, you will have to uh, bleach your skin. That's the first step. And uh, they also want the Chinese woman to have the V-shaped face. What do I mean by the V-shape? So your face starts here, but it has to start go down as uh, it carries down to your jaws. So basically, you cannot have any meat on your face. You cannot have a fat face. So any of the, these excess, they, this can be trimmed down by uh, using a uh, plastic surgery. Obviously, there's the most famous one, the double eyelid surgery. And by the way, I think this is a unique Asian feature. I don't know why the Chinese are so embarrassed and they're so obsessed with this. And they so many of them, they try to get rid of it. And uh, of course, there's the black dahlia surgery. So the plastic surgeon comes in and makes an insertion on uh, both sides of your lips. So your lips uh, will open up a little bit more. So this way it looks like you're constantly uh, smiling and uh, you have to have a long straight hair. So curly hair is considered ugly in China. The white nose is considered ugly in China. And if you have a big nose, you want to make it onto TV, you have to get plastic surgery done to uh, shrink your nose. And uh, big lips are also uh, considered to be extremely ugly. So if you have big lips, you have to get an injection. It's something similar to Botox that will shrink your lips. So remember, the Chinese, they don't like dark skin, they don't like curly hair, they don't like a white nose, and they don't like big lips. So basically, yeah, they really, really don't like black people and any facial feature that's associated with black people. And also the Chinese standard of beauty is that uh, the woman has to have extremely uh, skinny arms, has, she has to have extremely skinny legs. And if you don't believe me, just uh, search up any clips of a Chinese uh, beauty contest uh, or a modeling show, you will see that every woman is skinny like a chopstick. They also like a woman with uh, tiny hands, tiny fingers, tiny feet, and tiny toes. Basically, they want everything to be small. Mm, maybe that's why uh, so many Asian men have uh, small sausages. And uh, okay, let's talk about uh, the white worshipping, okay? This is 100% true. So, so in China, the most cases is a Chinese woman that marries interracially. And the vast majority of the time is a Chinese woman and a foreign white man. And usually the baby they produce from uh, this kind of marriage, they call it a uh, hunxue. So hunxue means a uh, mixed blood. However, this is a very specific term, okay? This hunxue term is only used for mixed Chinese and white babies. So these babies are considered uh, ethnically superior. For example, someone like uh, Gu Ailin. So Gu Ailin, she is born to a white father and a Chinese mother. She was born in the United States, but uh, she now represents uh, China now. So China is paying her 25 million US dollars a year for modeling and sports contracts because she, she's uh, revered and worshipped as a goddess in China because she's got this Weishin facial features. Weishin means, you know, white and Asian. And uh, China considers uh, this kind of product uh, to be perfection in terms of beauty because she has that European blood in her. And uh, yes, I, I have personally seen this happen. I mentioned before I work at a, a Chinese grocery store. And there are some instances uh, where a Chinese woman marries a, a white Canadian male and the baby comes out uh, looking 100% Asian. And there are cases uh, where the mother or sometimes her friends or family member, they will publicly humiliate the child. They're saying that, oh my God, you look like a dirty ass a Chinese chink. You look so ugly. You have the single eyelid. You got the dirty yellow skin. You don't look like a hunxue. You look like a pure Chinese bread baby. Oh my God, that is so ugly. How come you can't look like a Weishin baby? How come you can't look like a white baby? I'm 100% serious. You know, so many women are so uncomfortable with these conversations, but I want to tell you guys the truth. Some of these women, they were literally at nighttime, uh, especially after they get impregnated by the white man, they will go to a temple, they will burn some incense, and they will say that, oh, please, Shandi, please, Shandi, when I give birth uh, to my baby, please let it be a white baby. At least make it look like a mixed baby. 
please don't make the baby uh, ugly Asian looking. Please don't make the baby look just like me. It's unfortunate uh, this is what our world has turned into. And uh, let's come back to this term, uh, 混血, okay? Like I mentioned, this usually only applies to you know, a mixed Chinese and white baby in China. However, for example, if a Chinese woman marries someone that's uh, dark-skinned, let's say uh, she marries uh, someone from India or Pakistan or Sri Lanka, or someone that is black, okay? This type of baby is usually not called a Hunxu or mixed blood. There's a separate term. It's called a Zhajong. Do you know what Zhajong means? Zhajong means that baby is an abomination or a bastard child because that baby has been tainted with dirty, dark-skinned, uh, brown or black blood. I'm 100% serious. I'm not making up this term. So how did uh, China get to here? Was China always like this? Were they always worshipping whites? Well, I'm gonna say no. I know many of you guys uh, probably you know looked up the, this uh, story on Reddit, this trend. Um, number one answer you might get is that you know thousands of years ago, because when Chinese people, in fact, when all Asians, you know, when you go out there, when you get tanned in the sun, you turn dark. But uh, however, it's different when for Europeans, you know, when you get tanned, you start to turn red. So what happened was thousands of years ago, everybody that was poor that worked on the fields, they all got tanned. They all got really, really dark. So being dark means that you were poor, and everybody that could stay inside and got the white collar job were extremely pale but uh, I think that's one tiny aspect I don't think China was always uh, white worshipping like this so if you want to really really understand this we have to come back to China as a century of uh, humiliation which uh, roughly took place uh, between the year of uh, 1840 to 1945 you have to remember that uh, back in 1800 China was the number one country in the world I believe it was the fourth uh, largest empire uh, in the history of the world in fact one third of the GDP worldwide was generated by China China was a much stronger country than the UK France or the United States but uh, everything started going to shit when uh, the British uh, imported opium into the country. And uh, there's a lot to talk about. So by the way, China was never fully colonized. Okay, China was put under you know, this uh, sphere of uh, influence by these uh, European nations. It was called uh, the Eight Nations uh, Alliance. And uh, this Eight Nation Alliance absolutely destroyed China from inside out. There's so much to talk about for you to understand this history and uh, why China wants to be uh, white so bad. So... As I promised uh, before, you know, this fall I'll be returning to China for a full six months trip and uh, this will be my full time job. I will be filming every single day and after I return, I will produce over 200 uh, original videos. About uh, 20 of them will be full length original documentaries that's going to be 100% produced by me. I'm talking about 40-45 minutes. For one of these uh, full length documentaries, I'm going to discuss China's uh, century of humiliation in full detail. And then when I talk about the modern area in China, I think this obsession with you know being white and skin bleaching, this is 100% worth another full 45 minute length documentary. So I will definitely come back to these topics. You know, there's no perfect uh, society in this world. But uh, despite all the negatives uh, I've said, there are also lots of good things to China. For example, if you're a black person and uh, if you were offered a chance, for example, to work or study in China, I would still recommend you to take that opportunity, to take that uh, job offer to uh, accept your scholarship, to go to a Chinese university. Because I believe a lot of these uh, racism and discrimination that are stemmed from the culture and language barrier, a lot of these could be eliminated. For example, if you're planning on to going to a Chinese university for four years, you better start learning Mandarin Chinese. You better start blending in with the culture. You better get familiar with uh, the local cultures and customs. And I do firmly believe that, uh, you know, if every foreigner in China actually put in the effort to blend in, a lot of the, these misunderstandings, these discriminations, and these conflicts could be eliminated. I will come back to these topics in a full-length documentary after I return from China. Thank you guys for staying till the end. I will see you guys next time.